Yar, mateys. For eight weeks now you've been coming to the YA Rebels, and have you ever once asked yourself, what is it that makes them rebels? Abandon hope, all ye who enter the rebellion. Right, so what is it that makes us rebels? Uh, well, it's not the eye patch and the fake hat, that's for sure. Woo! It's not the plastic knife Arr. that makes us rebels, or the uh, schoolgirl bondage corset thing I have going on here. <laughs> no, 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 no. And it's not the tranny streetwalker makeup, and it's not the fact that I have the liver of a 75 year old career alcoholic. And it's not the fact that I'm on, like, my fifth career incarnation. And it's not the fact that I'm technically old enough to be Sunday Rebel Cody's mother. Technically. And it's not that I live in L.A. And it's not that I wear a rainbow bright t-shirt. What makes me a rebel, pure and simple, is this. <laughs> that I sing with the circus. That doesn't necessarily make me a rebel. It's not the fact that I'm on a platform 25 feet above the stage, dancing my booty off like I'm going to launch myself into orbit, my toes six inches from the edge with nothing but a mic stand between me and imminent death. It's not the fact that I'm wearing a pink sequin spandex dress cut to my sternum and a matching pink afro adorned with dead twigs and flowers. No, what makes me a rebel is the fact that this classically trained opera voice is singing Eye of the Tiger on that stage flat, off pitch, doesn't care, with a cellist, a speed metal drummer, and the bassist from Oingo Boingo. That baby makes me a rebel. You want to see it again, don't you? I know you do. Maybe just a little bit more? Okay.